Ladies and gentlemen, you know incredibly strange wrestling comes from San Francisco, the heart of the West Coast. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, match number two from Incredibly Strange Wrestling features a true luchador from Tijuana, Killer Quimera! Killer Quimera, ladies and gentlemen, the champion from bringing 22 and 22 pounds and so on 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 and but of course, versus Mexico, you know, these times are difficult for some of our immigrant friends, ladies and gentlemen. And there are forces arrayed against them. Forces who would crush a sprightly jumping bean like Killer Canera. And you know, we brought with us all the way from Washington, D.C. Where, let's hear it from Washington, D.C., ladies and gentlemen. It's the capital of the United States of America. Oh, no. This is a man who knows where they kept Chandra Levy. He partied with Scooter Levy. Direct from Washington, D.C., here to crush the forces of Mexican immigration once and for all. Please welcome. American man, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the first match, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Philip Era came up all the way across the border to take some violent things to bring him up here, only to be crushed by the forces of white American manhood. Dominating Camara and Camara's like, oh, it's Sunday. 
The little man from Mexico strikes back. He's going to, oh! Crushing! Camaro showing great pluck here, but he's angry at the order. Oh! And the old boy takes a trash can. Oh! And in a surprise upset, Mexico is fighting. Killer Camaro goes down to defeat to the forces of white American hood, the combined power of the American man and the redoubtable old boy. Determined to take our Mexican friend home in a garbage can. And this is the type of brutal Edward Norton type racism that we hate to see here. And he clearly screams, oh! And he's brutally struck him with the garbage can. But now, no idea where he's going. Oh, and again, the oil boy striking. But up in there. Oh, no. And now the scene probably begins. He's an angry young man. Oh! You remember the old boy hasn't had sex since 1983 when skinheads were so cool. And it is it pains him. Oh, the old boy just destroyed Kendera. And you know, this is just the type of two-on-one action that skinheads revel in. Oh, Kendera does not look good. The Oi Boy owning that stage, wielding that garbage can like a copy of Mein Kampf, dominating. And as he marches the crowd to be whiter, because this is Portland, the Oi Boy. It doesn't get much whiter than this. But you know, oh, Cooper McDoom. He's got his work cut out for him, assisting Camaro from the stage. That was brutal. We hate to see cheating like that in ISW. That was clearly flouting the rules. And Camaro being helped through the roof. This does not look good. The little man taking the quickest donkey back to Juarez, I'm afraid.